been waiting to do that. And that's it, guys. Ugh. Oh, diamond freaking game. We finally cracked that diamond. See? No scooping allowed. Gunslingers to the end. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. We have Azorius Flyers, with a little bit of my tricks that I do so enjoy. I was inspired by Orvar last night, and I said, you know, I'm going to revisit one of my favorite ones, Destroying Angels, um, that I did way back in Kaldheim days. Geez, back in January, February. I haven't really touched in six months something similar to it. Um, I haven't updated it for Strixhaven. I certainly haven't updated it for D&D. &D. Um, so we're going to take a look at these angels. Snow angels. Um, probably one of my favorite tricky decks. Uh, really made more powerful by some of the bonuses and things that we have. And of course, as always, rotation proof. Flying in for a lot of damage. Um, so of course, uh, before we get to the shakedown breakdown, I need you to do something for me. Do you know what that is? Tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Don't destroy it. Don't smash it. Just push it lightly. Or else, guys, the like and subscribe will come and get you, and he will rip you apart. You can join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv slash J for all the live streaming goodness. You too can spam the like and subscribe emote. And of course, you can check out our Discord community where we'd love to have you discuss all things magic. This deck and all the others are available down below in my Aether Hub. And while you're down in the uh, while you're down there in the description below, uh, why don't you check out the merch store? Here we have uh, I'll, I'll put up a picture of lovely Mr. Stormblood, one of our villains, modeling the uh, lovely I Am A Villain hoodie, now available uh, through Stream Elements. Um, help support the channel and buy some sweet swag while you're at it. So that all being said, uh, what are we looking at with Snow Angels? Cleric class. Life gain is going to be important with this one. Additionally, I think Resurrection is going to be essential for it too. Second level is pretty expensive. Whenever you gain life, you're going to put 1-1 one, one counters out, but it's going to up your power, and just getting that extra life gain is going to be useful. Uh, two of them is more than enough. Ascendant Spirit. I like this card. Even though it's susceptible to removal, I think it's a powerful one. Um, I really like the ultimate effect, which reminds me of Staggering Insight from the previous season. Two, it becomes a 2-3 two, uh, two, two, Spirit Warrior. Uh, three, it becomes an... Um, a flying uh, angel spirit warrior 4 4 and then if you pay four uh, it becomes two more two two counters it becomes a six six angel warrior uh, spirit and then whenever it deals combat damage um, uh, you draw a card very useful that late game card draw you see a guard approach um, Distract the guard or hide. Both of these are amazing. For a common card, one blue mana as an instant. Tapping a creature is um, tapping a creature is always useful. Get rid of a blocker and fly in. If they only have one flying blocker, get rid of it. Or stop that removal. Stop those negative effects from hitting you with that um, hexproof. Additionally, it's going to help you repeat spells because it's so cheap. We're going to run three Dawnbringers. Uh, this is also a little bit of a utility card. We're either going to gain life, destroy target enchantment, which is very useful, or we're going to exile target card from a graveyard to stop a little bit of that recursion that sometimes happens. As a 1-3, great blocker, and a 2-drop. Leon and Lightscribe, underrated card, underrated cat card here. Um, whenever you cast a spell or a copy of an incident or sorcery, each creature you control gets plus 1, plus 1 to the end of turn. What that means is that anytime you're going to play see a guard approach or any other card, it's going to start beefing up everybody, which is extremely useful. Luminarch Aspirant, uh, another clear card that, I mean, should be a staple of your main white decks. 1-1 uh, one, one counters every turn on whoever you want is going to be extremely, extremely useful. 
um, again, we're talking about, so you can see a, you can see a similar thing here. We have one protection, but the rest of these are all beef cards. They all add mass to your cards. Show of confidence, again, adding mass. Um, when you cast a spell, copy it for each other instant and sorcery spell you've cast this turn. You may choose new targets for the copies. Put a 1-1 one, one target counter on creature, and it gains vigilance. Again, uh, guard approach, and then show confidence. That's only three. Two cards get plus one, plus one, and uh, vigilance. Two different creatures get it. Plus, if you have Leon Light Scribe out, everything gets plus two, plus two. You can start hitting that repeat button really hard with show of confidence. Solid strike saving card. Redain, God of the Worthy. A little bit of protection here. If you don't like her, chuck her out, do somebody else. Uh, but a flying and vigilance, two, three, and s snow lands enter uh, tapped, which I do like for all those um, snow decks that have been coming out with uh, Blizzard Brawl and all that. Snow is still pretty popular. Non creature spells your opponent casts with a mana value four or greater cost two more, or you could put out Valkmira, Protector's Shield. If a source opponent controls would deal damage to you, prevent it. You prevent one of that damage. Uh, whenever another creature you control becomes the target of a spell, counter that spell unless they pay one. So a lot of protection there with Redain. Righteous Valkyrie, of course. 2 4 Flying Angel Cleric. Whenever another angel or cleric, remember, all of these down here were clerics, by the way. Uh, enters the battlefield, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Solid, solid move right there. Um, especially with Dawnbringer, they are made for each other. That is a match made in heaven because you're going to gain five mana. If you have Cleric class out, you're going to gain six uh, life, not mana. You're going to gain six life because Cleric's going to increase it by one. Uh, actually, you're going to gain seven right away because it's going to be two distinct gains. So you're going to gain three for that and four for him coming out. So the perfect hand is cleric class, um, uh, something like uh, Dawn, something like Leonin, and then you hit Righteous Valkyrie, and then you could hit Dawnbringer in turn four. Boom, you're already at 27. Righteous Valkyrie, absolutely strong, because if you are at seven or more, everything gets plus two, plus two. On top of the spells and stuff you're playing with Leon and Light's Grab, you can get to some ridiculous numbers. Divide by zero. I want a l tiny little bit of control. I like this one because of Treasure Ramp. It really screws it up. Um, if people are using treasure to cheat cards out on the board early, you can kind of slow them down as opposed to just destroying them. And we also get the learn ability. Learn will take us to our sideboard here, um, which we weren't able to use too much in the game. I didn't add more cards because I was being lazy, but you could just put the standard in. I, I like two environmental sciences, one intro to annihilation, um, at two academic probations, and you could throw in a reduced to memory and a mercurial transformation. That's fine. Academic probation is the main thing. We want to not have people block, okay? Uh, and if we do knock something back to their hand, we can also choose with academic probation that they can't uh, cast that spell next turn. So if you know if it's in their hand again, you can say, no, you can't cast that next turn. So academic probation is the golden one that we're going to want there. Um, Linvala. Shield of the Seagate. She doesn't get played enough, guys. Uh, she does not. Angel Wizard. 3-3 three, three flying. At the beginning of your uh, combat turn, if you have a full party, it's not going to matter. Uh, sacrifice Linvala. Choose Hexproof or Indestructible. Creatures you control gain that ability at the end of turn. This is your wipe protection. This is your everything protection. She will sacrifice herself. She will protect the entire board. They will either become indestructible or every single one of them will become Hexproof. Unbelievably useful. Um... You have to sacrifice her, but guess what? Cheat her back onto the board with Cleric Class Level 3. And then, of course, Orvar, the All Form. Since he's a Changeling, you know, might know from last night's deck, he counts as everything, which means he's an Angel and a Cleric, which means that he will, of course, trigger Righteous Valkyrie. Now, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, if it targets one or more permanents you control, create a token that's a copy of that permanence. Um, whenever spell ability causes you to discard a card, create a copy of the card that you had to discard. That's not as useful as that. So what we're going to want to do is hit, uh, if we have Orvar out and we've cast a bunch of instant and sorceries, we can start multiplying all of our different cards by using see a guard approach and show of confidence, especially if we're repeat casting show of confidence, it repeats for every time that you've cast something else. So in a perfect world, we can get three show of confidence out along with two other instants or sorceries. We've repeated something like Righteous Valkyrie three, four, five, six, three, four or five times along with everything else we're doing. You can really, really get a crazy, crazy board state with Orvar. 11, 10 snow-covered plains, two snow-covered islands, two henge gate pathways. We do want that snow in there. 
um, for Faceless Haven and for Ascendant Spirit. You can do Mana to Taste, but I wouldn't do too much that's not Snow. Otherwise, you kind of end up, you're going to always end up needing them when it comes to Ascendant Spirit. That's really the only one that we need, so do them to Taste. Uh, we look at the details here. 2.1 average. This is a pretty aggro deck. Um, this is pretty aggro. This is pretty aggressive. Heavier on the white. Uh, 14 blue. 25 creatures. 6 angels, but 15 clerics. Uh, Shapeshifter also counts as those as well. So we are doing a lot for that. We do have some spirits. 10 instants, 2 enchantments, and 23 lands total. If you don't want that many lands, sure, go for it. We might have too many, especially for 21, but I was getting kind of land screwed, so you can adjust for your flavor if you want. Uh, I put two Faceless Havens for a little bit of man land action, so we can attack. But if we do get board wiped or we do get stuck, two Faceless Havens can really ride it out. Um, uh, let's look at the alternate view here um pretty smooth curve a lot of early stuff our middle cards are two and three orvar is our four he is to start getting the end game scenario down uh he is going to start cheating the other cards onto the board when you start casting spells on them um he's going to start repeating everybody so pretty smooth all you really need is one two and three 23 mana just because the shuffler doesn't like me uh it does cause me to flood sometimes but hey uh, you can't win them all, I guess. Um, we did crack diamond with this one. Let's show you the journey into that right now. I love Azorius Flyers, and I think if you are hesitant on Azorius Flyers, this is the one for you guys. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get dangerous. All right, guys. This is very similar to a deck I made previously, but I really like that deck. Um... I really like that deck. It's it's very similar to Destroying Angels, except basically updated. Because that one didn't get updated until... Um, oh, the Black Staff of Waterdeep. Okay. Um, that one didn't get updated since Strixhaven, pretty much. So that one is probably two or three months old now. Secret door. Okay, he's he's on to some tricky stuff here. Uh, let's do that. No attacks. Um... Target artifact becomes, so it basically animates things. I've never seen anybody use this. I was even unaware that it was even a thing. So that should pretty much tell you where we're at with that. He may counterspell it. He may counterspell it. He's got enough. He's going to return that. Yeah. Okay, I have one of those. We're going to go next. Uh, we're going to do that. Spread them out. No attacks. All right. He's got an absolute rack of cards in his hand. I want to see how much he's going to be able to stymie me. Stymie me. Stymie me. I'm very worried about the counters. Um... Huh. Huh. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it like that. Huh. 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 You know what? The, you know what I'm doing right there, right? Um. Let me push back that. Take Aki Pro. Uh, and then we do. Let me do that. Yeah, I got more tricks than just uh, Angel, my guy. There you go. 
Exactly. I sound like a Misa. Yeah, my, I'm a Minecraft villager. Um. Huh. 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 Alarun. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. The man, the myth, the legend. Huh. Uh, so let's do this. Let's do this. And let's do this. All right, so I don't know if he's got enough to boot me out. Oof, I didn't even see that look like a Minecraft villager too, man. That's highly offensive. I have never traded emeralds in my whole life. Okay. And certainly not for wheat. You know, I'm one of the few people that never super, super, super got into them. I like, I like Minecraft. Every now and again I start up a new world and play for a couple hours, but I... I... I never really got like super 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 like way into it i like valheim valheim is the way to go man y'all ever play valheim um valheim is the tits is the tits as they say who's he gonna stop who's he gonna stop who's he gonna stop who's he gonna stop bump bump who's he gonna stop who's he gonna stop who's he gonna stop who's he gonna stop bump bump Uh oh, spaghetti hose. Uh, you better have a, you better have a board clear. Um, he may probably because he needs the perfect hand. He's probably gonna have cyclone giant right here just to knock all my stuff back. Um. Yeah, I'm almost positive just because that would be the perfect card to stop me. Um, oh no, he's just gonna he's just gonna storm giant me. Okay, all right. Land. Okay. Do this. And we swing in. There we go. Um, he hit land. That's right. Um, yes, yeah, Snow got herself a new computer. I'm trying to get her to stream more. Like every time she streams, she's like, "Wow, so many people showed up." And I'm like, "Yeah, people like your stream, Snow." She's she's like always shocked that people actually enjoy it. I, I don't I don't know what it is. Um, doing what Mono Blue did. Man, I remember used to used to be able to beat people's ass with Mono Blue. Uh, people don't even want to play you wear mono blue. It, it mono blue super got nerfed in the last couple of years. Demir and mono blue used to be an unbelievably just like just shut down. Like it blew, yeah, they really they really cut cut the nuts off mono blue. I, it's sad, but it's true. Um, they really really neutered it. It used to be way op, man just like the amount of control um the amount of control you could get off with mono blue was just unbelievably absurd uh no attacks and turn oh yeah um man three damage i mean is it back in the day when counters were two blue and and a lightning bolt was one red man pfft be busting people's brains open, man. Ridiculous up in here. Uh, okay, so let's do that. All right, no attacks. Gale Lord, I I think that's actually banned uh, by the Geneva Convention to do that to people. I don't even think you're allowed to do that anymore, man. 
I got to be honest with you. I may have to report you to the International Criminal Court for that. Um, I have a white border. Uh, yeah, I have a bunch of beta and unlimited cards. Uh, so I do have a white border. Uh, watch him call it. What are we just talking about? Let's see. He's got another removal in his hand. He's probably got another clutch removal. White border card. I have some lightning bolts too. Um, I got all kind of stuff. Unlimited. A lot of some bait and some unlimited. No alpha though. Um, and of course my my aunt gave away uh, my aunt gave away most of my cousin's cards. Probably about ten twenty thousand dollars worth of cards. Um, so that's too bad. three and two so if I gain three and two that'll be seven all right now we got to do it oops I should have played Claire class first misplay everybody did you see did you say Jay misplay I did it Jay misplayed everybody um they were all played some of them were in sleeves I know some of them his Shiv and Dragon his dual lands um but I, I rescued a few of them, but none of them are any good. They're mostly... Let's see if he's got a Doomscar. Probably... Nope, he's got Tibalt Comic and Cosmic Imposter, uh, which is basically unbeatable. Um, uh, it's basically unbeatable. Um, unfortunately. With this deck, I don't have anything to deal with it. I have no uh, Planeswalker removal. Hey, what's up, uh, Yusuf? Yeah, he went for that because he knows I'm going to pump. And he's going to play my Righteous. Yep. Yeah, I got stymied by that. That I, I got uh, bottle hold by that uh, bottleneck by that uh, mana flow there. Um, Yeah, Tibalt. Tibalt's got my number. I got no way to get through that. I got no way to get through that. Uh, how do you get Tibalt out so fast? You have some sort of treasure that I didn't see. Oh, he foretold him. Uh, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, I would love to uh, if I had the time. Um... If I had the time, I would love nothing more than to do that. Uh, sadly, I just don't have the time to sit there and uh, and read my book. Um, I, I, I'm going to try to, but I have been so swamped with work lately um, that I have just been unable to. Um, See if he's got an instant. He might have flunk. Nope. Let's hit Tibbo. We can't kill him. We can diminish him quite a bit, though. Okay. All right. Dream Devourer is, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, he can't start doing that exile. Uh, I do eventually plan on, on kind of... Uh, Doing that, what you said, doing a, a, a copy of that. Um, but as of right now, I, I can't. Have you read it, Zyme?
Yeah, I got bottleneck mana so bad here, guys. Fifty-ish mana rate. Yeah, that's 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 good compared to the what we have going on now. Um, I don't know what's going on with the with the shuffler guy. I, I couldn't even tell you. Couldn't even tell you what's going on with the shuffler. Yeah, I've got no exile deal with Tibalt, unfortunately, and he's just gonna steal all my stuff. Uh, Tibalt is really annoying. And it just so happens he's running a snow deck, so he can ramp, he can push Ascendant Spirit. So there's that. He's just going to start exiling things, though. That's the problem. Um, is the stream frozen? Flunk. He's going to flunk Orvar. Of course, he got three flunks in a row. I mean, two flunks. He had two flunks in a whatchamacallit. Um, I can res Orvar, too, so that's not too bad. You can push that. Uh, I know... I, I really got to do it. I, I, I have a lot of side projects that I want to do. I am just so busy. I, I have n zero time for anything. Um, I, I, I wish I did. I wish I could focus on other projects, but I, I really need to figure something out with my job right now because they're, they're overworking me. Um, so don't know what to say to that other than I gotta just keep plugging on. We might be saved by the bell here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, destroy target enchantment. Or let's just gain life and see what happens. There we go. Now we're thinking with portals. Um, Now we're thinking with portals. Okay, we might be saved by the bell here, guys. We might be able to do it here. Big might. He's gonna have to hit the. He's gonna have to hit the woe here. Um, oh, there it is. Yep, that's what he's gonna have to do. Unfortunately, I have resurrection. Um, yeah, I figured he had a clutch. He had a pocket. He had a pocket banger. Uh, generally, these control decks have every single type of contingency. I mean he's running a four he's running a four color control man. Um uh he's running a four color control. Um but he has to eat through an absolute sh metric ton of damage right now, which is the problem. So he can play every single card in the game. Um, he can play every single card in the game. He still has to eat through a million thousand things, though. That Tibalt, man, with no way to get rid of Tibalt, it's really not good. Um, the problem is I am working full-time for a part-time job. That's my issue right now. I work six, seven, eight hours a day in a job that's only supposed to be a couple hours a week. Um, that's my problem. Um, could not get to Tibalt. Could not break through in time. I did not hit the removal. If I would have hit the tap, I have four cards that tap people. And I did not hit it. Yeah, I did not hit it. 
uh, I have no board wipe for myself here. This guy's just playing ultimate control, so it's really, it's really inconsequential at this point. We're just spinning our wheels. Good game, though. Um, that dude was going to play complete and total utter. He was playing four-color control, man. Um, yeah. Always a step ahead of me. Maybe if I was on the play and not the draw. I can't even remember if I was on the draw. If I aren't getting full-time benefits... Yeah, I'm not getting full-time benefits. Um, uh, no, I'm not getting full-time benefits. It's amazing. I'm getting a lot of training, though. That's that's the one thing. I am getting a lot, a lot of training. Um, so. But I would love this to be my full-time job. Um, I absolutely am not making enough. Uh, I, would, I would be pouring money. I would be dipping into my savings to do this, and I just can't. I'm not at the point where I could do that yet for this. I love this. I'd love to do full-time content creation. Uh, it would be a dream, but uh, as of right now, um, I get a bump every time a new set comes out. Uh, but like right now, I'm I'm sagging back down in views. You know, I have the core. I have the core amount of people that watch me all the time. Dragonfire, yep. Ashthorn Gaming, what is up, man? Arnie Brokenbrow, okay. Is he gonna rush in? Uh, no blocks. Boof. Okay. Let's do that. Linval the Shield Gate. I do that. I do that. Big Alfredo, thank you for coming by, man. Ooh, a coma deck. Two snow cards. Good night, Redacted. Hey, what's up, Musketeer? Pass. Pass. My turn. Okay, nice. Let's do that. <clears throat> um, let's do that. There we go. Is it? Is it snow? Oh, okay. The one that everybody hates. No, no blocks. Take it. Boof. Okay. My turn. We do that. Um, let's hold. Let's hold that in the clutch right there. Let's push the angel in a little bit faster. All right. And then when he taps, I'm going to divide him by zero. I'm going to divide him by zero. I think that's what we're going to do. If he swings in on me, I don't really care about the Arnie. He may have a counterspell. I, he doesn't usually counterspells are too blue, but uh, he may be doing a negate or something. So it's not 100%. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, 
All right, so he played that. All right. Yeah, we got him. We got him. He's got, okay, well, he's got a blue now. So he could possibly counterspell me. Um, he's going to foretell. No, he's not going to counterspell me. He's done. He's donezo. He is donezo. Pass. Uh, my turn. All right, so what we do is we do... Um, Oh, he didn't tap him. That's the problem. Okay, well, we're going to do this then. We're going to sneak her through. And we're going to do a sneak for her through. Kabunga, Kabanga, okay. There you go. We have the protection, the mass protection, and the kickback, plus a bonus. Yeah, we're in pole position here, I feel. We're in pole position here. Uh, definitely. Definitely in good position. He's wondering what to do. Crush the weak. Hmm. Two damage. It's not going to matter, guy. What are you thinking? Yeah, it's not going to matter, my guy. Yeah, there you go. All right. Back up after that Tibal craziness. I think we can, if we can do it quick, we can push the diamond right now. If we get it done quick, 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 quick. Rimas, Rimastino, Rimastino. What is up, Mr. Rimastino? Who else is here? Um, if you're new, why don't you go, Manolia TTV. If you're new, why don't you go ahead and hit that follow button, guys? Um, absolutely, please follow me. Ooh, good hand. Okay. It's it Korean fine. What's up? Burn. Thundering Rebuke, yeah. I'm glad he used it now, and not now. So let's see if we can get this off. Uh, he might have another one. If, knowing me, he's got a freaking Dragon's Blast, and he's going to burn her up real quick-like. Uh, so let's see what happens. He's just got a handful of removal. Yep, I knew he had a Dragon's Fire. He's going to reveal. Yep, that's it. I know. You think I don't know? They think I don't know, man. I know. I know, guys. Uh, but eventually he's going to have to start playing cards and not just freaking play removal on me. Um, Magda. Okay, good. Um, so let's do that. Let's ascend that. Uh, let's do that. I have not seen a you hear a guard approach one time tonight, guys. Um, shockingly, which is uh, pretty interesting overall. No blocks, I'll take it. Um, Which is, uh, the reason is it's hexproof. 
And they can't be having me hexproof my way to victory now, can they? Oh, no, sir, they cannot, sir. No, sir, Bob, no. No, sir, Bob. No, Bob. This guy's just going to cycle through his attackers. Just another day in paradise. Paro dice. Uh, okay, there's my Sea of Guard approach. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak them in. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a sneaks. We're gonna do what we call the sneaks McGee here. Resolve, he's gonna get a little treasure from it, and then we're gonna go sneak. Sneak. We do the old Sneaks McGee. Let's see if he's got a burn. He's got a burn. He's in good shape. Um, he doesn't have a burn. He's in bad shape. Nope. That's what we call Bad Shape City. Yeah. One ticket to Bad Shape City, please. Uh, one way. I love tapping people's creatures, man. I, people underrate that, man. Tapping other people's stuff is a, is a very way... Who's down with OPT? Yeah, you know me. Other people's taps. Uh, that's what you got to do, man. Other people's taps. Who's down with OPT? Yeah, you take me down to the bad shape city. <laughs> he blew his removal too early. Yeah, he did. He really, he really uh, shot his wad really fast there. Ew, gross. Um, on on little bullshit, man. I just put down little things, and he he started hitting his hitting his removal immediately. I mean, I get it. I get your kind of an aggro deck. Um, I love that song uh, from Can't Hardly Wait. That's the first time I heard that song. The, remember that movie, Can't Hardly Wait? There's another guy blowing his load too early. Um, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm really kind of upset that Redain isn't an angel god. That would have been really good. Um, Elder Flying Discipline. Each parent discards a card. We will get rid of an island. Uh, yeah, that was a that was a that was almost a full house right there. The nerd, everyone starts loving the nerd, and he sings that song. Um, Paradise City, and then of course we can't forget Burnout Paradise City on the Xbox 360, one of the best racing games ever made. Um, can we ever forget that, guys? Lest we forget. So he's probably going to necrotic fumes me, one of them, and then he's going to get shocked in by the righteous. Um, Nighthawk Scavenger. Oh, that's going to be a tricky boy. That's going to be a tricky boy to deal with. Do that. Uh... No attacks. Please take me home. He's going to exile, I'm sure. He's going to thirst me. Okay. He thirsted me. The old thirst trap. No, that's a bad idea, homie. Don't do that. No. You're going to lose 12 life to gain 3. What are you thinking, Holmes? Um, Snowlands enter tapped. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. So now his Snowlands enter tapped. Blood Chiefs again. Okay. Oh. Yep. We, I think we got him, boys. We got him? No, not yet. We're going to distract the guard here. Got 
eight. We're going to do nine right now. Lord Drakewater. I've been watching your videos, Mr. Drake. Um, when I can, I put them on in the background. Necrotic Fumes. All right, do that one. Okay, that pushes everybody down. Okay, so this is going to be uh, that. Uh, next. I'm going to do this. No attacks. Okay. The problem is he's going to gain four. That's the issue. He's hit me with removal after removal after removal. So, whoosh, soul shatter. Uh, sacrifice. A creature planeswalker with the highest mana value among creatures you control. Redain. Okay. Do that. Yeah, he's hit me with removal after removal here. Um, pass. He's still not in good shape. I mean... Oh, he's going to swing for it. Okay. No blocks. No blocks. Boom, he's going to be at six. Let's see. Does he have the removal? My turn. No, he doesn't. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Good game. And we push in. Uh, buff, buff. There we go. Live stream the wedding. You're getting married, Drake Water. You're getting married. You didn't even invite me. Uh, I was not even invited to the to the Duchy of Bear of Drake Water. That is unbelievably insulting, good sir. Um, uh, good congratulations, my guy. Uh, make sure you come back. Bakawana Kunawa got married and never came back. We miss him. Uh, all right, here, guys. This is the diamond game. This is the diamond game. <laughs> A little bit of water. <sighs> I guess he did just invite me. I, I guess I can't. I'm not. You're not wrong there, my guy. You're not wrong there. Terrible hand, Mull. Uh, better. Not great, but better. Um, if I want to make the drive. <laughs> I don't think I can, my guy. Um, Alright, so I don't... I'm a little bit... I'm going to get rid of Faceless Haven for right now. I feel like I can get away with that. Pass the duchy to the left hand side. Juna kisses. Is, 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 is. White. White flyer aggro, probably. Okay, my turn. Uh, let's do that. We needed that guy. Okay, we'll do this. All right, do that. Codis Lobra. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Is Codis Lobra? I don't know. Swing. All right. We might be able to sneak him. Might be able to sneak a big hit. We're looking at a Lotus Cobra Selesnya. Um Ashthorn Gaming, um, I would congratulate you on that if that wasn't such a disgusting feat. If it wasn't absolutely disgusting. Um The only thing that outshames my uh my pride is my shame. That you <laughs> Oh man. Uh, 
Uh, all right, so let's do Tap Target Creature. Let's push. Let's push. He's going to have to lose his whole apparatus. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so he just wants to go down to nine. Um, he just wants to go down to nine. Another Battlefield Raptor. Uh, Battlefield Raptor, good card, by the way. Uh, solid card uh, for a common, a one-two uh, first strike. Flying first strike. Absolutely solid card. And here comes the flood. Into the flood again. Same old trip it was back then. So I made a big mistake. Try to see it once my way. I'm going to push. He could destroy... Some of this stuff, but without not without wrecking his board. Board. He's really mana locked right now. I would rather push and just try to get the nine out and just, um, just rock him. Um, you can certainly post it on the Discord, Ash. Um, as a Simic Coma deck, it's highly unlikely that I will ever partake in such a terrible thing. But there may be somebody else who wishes to dabble in such a such a forbidden uh magic it's not simic what is it sultai or bant what is it sultai or bant i bet it's bant isn't it um that's sultai mall of the skyclaves you got to watch out when using mall of the skyclaves Mall of the Skyclaves gets really busy around Christmas, and it's really hard to get in. So that's why you don't want to go to the Mall of the Skyclaves too, uh, too early. You got to be careful when you go. Um, you guys like that one? Is that a dad enough pun for you? Luminarch. Yeah, that's a problem. I'm going to need to... He can't push, but he's just going to start getting more and more powerful, which is the issue. And with the first strikers, that's going to be an issue. Uh, um, well, there's the flood, guys. There is the flood, ladies and gentlemen. we looking at here 12 cards i've drawn seven mana seven mana out of 12 cards i have only drawn five spells or creatures so that's where we're at right now If I draw another if I draw another mana, I know for a fact, for a literal fact that it's rigged. That it's trying to stop me. A literal fact. Um uh, Okay, show of confidence. Um, let's 
Let's do that. We need to keep upping our power. If I can get the show of confidence to a more square state with another thing, um, that's so awesome that my subs are actually going to go thinking about going to your wedding, man. That's really cool. Love this community. I am so proud of this community. Remember that? Remember uh, Rewind? Paragon, okay. Tajuru Paragon. Reveal the top six. Not sure. So that's going to be five. He's going to spread them out. Okay. He's going to do five, six, five, six. Okay. My turn. And it's a land. Lovely. That's really great. That's really super great. That's really extra super great. Oh my god. I swear, this game wants me to lose, man. 14 cards. And I've drawn 8 lands. Only 6 of them have been creatures or spells. There's Eska's Chariot. Okay. Man. If I could have just gotten 50-50, man. No, I'm not going to scoop. I'm not going to scoop. This is the diamond game, man. I have two man lands in here, and it didn't give me the man lands. Uh, it's just giving me, um, this is the diamond game, man. If there's even a 1% 1 uh, 1 chance that I can win. At least it's a faceless haven. At least it's that. It's still a land, but nine, man, nine out of 15, bro. Even if I got eight out of 15, I'd be in better shape. No attacks. We are in such a stalemate. Holy Lord. If you, you're going to get droughted. You're never going to see land the whole game. Bro, the, the game wants you... Either either the game w makes you win or the game makes you lose. Um, whoops, that's a big mistake, Yuki Piku. That's a big one.
All right, seven. Yuki. Yuki, Yuki, Yuki. Let's see if he's got something to stop me. Let's see if he's got something to stop me. Nope, he doesn't. He doesn't. Maybe, maybe he does. No, he doesn't. He's going to take it. Ugh. Pass. Ugh. What do we got? Maskwood. Yeah, I got to play with Maskwood again, man. I've been waiting to do that. And that's it, guys. Ugh. Diamond freaking game. We finally cracked that diamond. See? No scooping allowed. Gunslingers to the end. There we go. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it there, folks. Uh, we cracked diamond tonight. Um, oh, we got a mythic. And it's Nico Aris. It said, hey, you like uh, Azorius? Go for it. Um, yeah, he scooped. I, I, he attacked, and he thought he was going to kill one of my creatures, and I uh, blocked the creatures with enough toughness from the instant, and he gave up after that. Um... Very nice. All right, good stuff here, guys. Uh, very fun deck. An updated version of one that I ran previously and solid all-around contender. Um, and yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Word of the day, I think, is going to be diamonds. No, it's going to be ice. Yeah, because diamonds are ice, and it's a snow deck. Ice. All right, guys. I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Bye-bye.